Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're gonna to be talking about my favorite 10 features of the Cabri G2. Let's go have a look at it. Okay, here's my number one feature. So this has a three-bladed, fully articulated rotor head. Here's the real cool part. Up here we've got elastomeric bearings that do all the three things that a three-bladed rotor system do, do. So it can lead and lag, it can flap up and down, and it can feather all through this one bearing right here and that bearing doesn't take any grease at all. So that's pretty amazing. This head actually has no grease on it whatsoever. Um, the droop stop right here, we put a little bit of grease on that just for lubrication uh, for this flapping up and down. But other than that, none of the bearings on the head actually have any grease in them. So that's one of my favorite features of the Cabri. Okay, second feature is this guy right here. This is a game changer for me. There's a little latch right here, you just pop it open. This is the storage compartment of the helicopter. Uh, because the whole airframe is all composite, it's all made out of carbon fiber, they were able to mold this in here. On the other side, it looks exactly the same as this, but they actually have the fuel bladder. We'll talk about that in a minute. But right here, um, huge storage compartment, gives your weights in here of what you're allowed. They put this cool little feature up top with a window right through to the cabin. So if you wanted to throw your lunch or a jacket or something like that right there, you can actually reach it while you're flying inside the helicopter, which is pretty amazing. Down here um, is where we have our 72 hour um, survival bag and uh, anything else that you want to have, you can keep it in there. Amazing little feature. Okay, third feature you guys, this EPM flight display right here is absolutely incredible. Lots of things to talk about. Uh, you've got everything in digital, so your RPMs, uh, temperatures and pressures, everything. This is a game changer to have this all in one place and really, really user friendly, easy to use. Number four is this fuel gauge right here. This is beautiful to have. Sometimes you never really know exactly how much fuel you have unless you have something digital like this. It tells you exactly how much fuel you have. It goes yellow, um, it, it illuminates yellow when you're low on fuel. It actually illuminates red when you're even lower on fuel. You have different modes here that you can swap through. Tell what your average fuel burn is, what your current fuel burn is, and uh, how, many, how much time you're gonna have left on the flight. So really, really nice to have that digital fuel gauge. Okay, fifth feature here is the torque gauge. This is beautiful, have a look here. So this torque gauge right here is, instead of manifold pressure, it's a piston engine helicopter, but because it's digital, they were able to convert it to torque. So as you raise and lower that collective, you can actually watch this torque all the way up to 100%. I'm not gonna get into the details of everything that it works here, but um, it has an FLI, so a first limit indicator essentially, and uh, they call it an MLI, so slightly different. But you're able to see 100% torque based on any altitude that you're at. There's a five minute yellow range when you're, uh, when you're at lower altitudes, that disappears as you go up higher. But really beautiful to have this. This is training you for flying a turbine helicopter. Okay, number six here is these opening cowling doors. We were looking for this on a Schweitzer, never had it. These doors are super easy. They've got two lockable latches on either side and uh, opens up the whole engine compartment. Really easy for a pre-flight when you want to get to the pre-flight. But when you don't, you want to go flying, closes up, you just latch this up right here. And it's safe to go flying. And now you're way more aerodynamic. I love this feature. Okay, here's feature number seven that I just absolutely love, the Fenestron tail rotor. Have a look at this thing, you guys. So it's a shrouded tail rotor. Um, the blades are inside, which makes them way safer on a conventional tail rotor. They're sticking out here. Um, they become pretty much invisible. We always talk about in passenger safety briefings, never go to the back of the helicopter, it's really dangerous. Yeah, if you stuck your arm through here, that would still be pretty dangerous. Um, but in general, much, much safer design. It's also quieter, which is really nice when you're flying in built up areas, urban areas and stuff like that. Uh, nice to have it quiet as well. So I love the Fenestron tail rotor. Okay, number eight, you guys, is 90 knots. This helicopter cruises on average between 80 and 90 knots, depending on how much power you're pulling. If you wanna pull 100%, you could technically get 100 knots out of it. That's a bit of a stretch. But if you look at the aerodynamics of the helicopter, we already talked about the opening cowlings. Um, very, very aerodynamic helicopter, narrow on the front, uh, really, really nice design, very slippery as they say, um, nice fins in the back. Helps the helicopter fly fast. When you fly fast, you can get to the places you're going faster, which means you can get more done in a flight. Uh, we noticed a really big shift uh, coming from the Schweitzers 
to this thing. We're able to do way more in a 100 hour course with this helicopter than we ever were able to do before with the other students. And we're able to get farther as well. We can get um, higher and farther up into the mountains. Nav trips are a bit longer and stuff as well. So the extra cruise speed on this is really nice to have. Okay guys, feature number nine is these modern crash attenuating seats. So what that means is these seats are mounted on rails, special rails that have the ability to crush. There's a full crush zone underneath here. And so if this helicopter were to land, they've tested this, this is absolutely nuts to me. If this were a helicopter were to crash, um, in auto rotation, so that means the engine quits, the helicopter glides down, descending at 2,000 feet per minute. You don't flare, you don't pull up on the collective, nothing, and you just impact the ground at 2,000 feet per minute. These seats would compact down on these rails back here, and technically, so, uh, technically speaking, they say that you're not going to end up breaking your back, which means that there's a good chance you're going to live through that. That's amazing to me. This is one of the best, best, best features of this helicopter. Okay, feature number 10, you guys. This is, I would say, probably the best feature. It is no life limit components, except for three. We'll talk about those in a second. But everything on this helicopter is on condition. Here's the three things that aren't the engine and the two gearboxes, the main and the tail rotor gearbox. Those have a 2200 hour life. Other than that, everything else is on condition. They have a, a time uh, um, recommendations that they say this component will probably last about this long like these blades for example they're saying that they're gonna probably last in the ballpark of 15,000 hours that's absolutely incredible for a small helicopter like this everything else you see it's not life limited that is huge 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 not in only in savings but also in time right now it's uh, Rob, taking Robinson about six months to do a major overhaul a 2200 hour overhaul on a helicopter six months that's crazy to be down without your helicopter for that long we just did an overhaul on the engine and the two uh, gearboxes took us about three weeks to do that that's a huge difference the cost difference is huge as well um, it gets spread out over the life of the aircraft much much longer life components on this thing that is I would say my top 10 feature All right, you guys, those are my top 10 favorite features of the Cabri. I want you to let me know in the comments below which one of those 10 is your favorite, or if you have a different altogether, if you fly these things and you have a different favorite altogether, leave that in the comments below. Like this video, give it the thumbs up, subscribe, and I'm gonna talk to you guys on the next one. See you later.